if he's ready. I was gonna say maybe I read it wrong, but you're here at 9 a.m. too, so. Yeah. Well, you know, I think I've been here before, and I think I remember he had one of those, uh, those like green translucent, like Halo Xbox. I think he was asking like 300. I was like, oh man, I, I was pretty sure. I don't know, maybe maybe he was trying to actually get rid of stuff this time, but it might be eBay prices. <laughs> Hey, Morning. Guys, yeah. Good. You having a garage sale? Yeah, we're still working on it. Okay. My dad's okay, little, little my dad's early. confined to a uh, a walker right now, so everything went a lot slower. Okay. Uh, but I haven't got much out yet. What did I bring around? What did I bring? Around? Oh, I brought these suitcases. This. That's as far as I got so far. Okay. What are you guys looking for anything particular? I mean, I I always go out looking for like video games and comic books and cards and stuff like that, but uh. uh I've got a shed out back that you guys can come look at. Okay. Yeah, if you want, just walk around on the side here, and there's a gate, and I'll meet you over at this gate. Okay. Yeah. Just awesome. Right the, right the front of the house there. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, can you move that rock? I forgot I had that sitting there. Appreciate it. Hey, come on over here. Yeah, this is where I'm taking a lot of the stuff from right here. Right up. <laughs> Hey man, I need to get me a shed like this. this. I built it. This is nice. Thanks. I built them for my dad. Give me a second to turn the power on. Excuse me, man. Oh. That's a little better. Here we go. Oh, this step, uh, I, I'm go. still going through this, but you're welcome to look. I got that. Uh, is this that set? You guys do Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, yeah, yeah, Pokemon, oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, stuff like that. Well, this set here, this is a thousand dollars. Comes with a uh, what do you call that card? Blue Eyes White Dragon SDK 001. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, you have any uh, Hot Wheels? I do have a. You, I don't have any old ones anymore. Okay, uh, even if it's just like a, a cheap one, I you know what's funny is I just picked up a whole track and I got it put together, and then I realized I don't have any Hot Wheels. I couldn't. My dad sells newer ones. Okay. So we'll go by the front of the house real quick, and we'll uh, show you what he's got. Okay. I think they never mm. had anything really good. Okay, right. And I did buy two sets of those. Crazy. <clears throat> cool, cool. What's in here? Not sure, man. Let's <laughs> see. I'm still going through the cards over here. Oh yeah, more cards. Oh, that's Jordan's for sale. So that's all Jordan's in there. Crazy. Yeah, and I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. A lot of the stuff I get in trades, or like I sold some for my dad, and <clears throat> I pulled out some of the ones I sold. And, you know, I still buy Pokemon cards every now and then, but I haven't bought a Yu-Gi-Oh pack since I was, you know, probably 15 or something. Well, he had two packs that I bought from him last year, I think we were doing the yard sale. He's like, hey, look, I found some uh, unopened Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And he wanted, like, I don't remember how much he wanted. Not much for them. So I bought the two packs, taking a chance. I was like, well, I don't know much about them, but they're unopened packs, so... I'll grab these two from you, Dad. Yeah, right. So I right. bought them. Then I put them online. One of them was two hundred and fifty dollars, one pack. No kidding. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Some of this stuff, it's it gets up there. That's wild. But some people go crazy for it. You know, they go nuts for it. For what's that? You know, all the, all the cards. You know, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. It's funny. I remember having the whole, the whole guy that would do the. I think, I think we have. I think the whole guy's in there. Oh yep, yeah, yeah. There's the arm and the leg. That's I don't cool. know if there's any pieces missing. If there is, I think it may be just one piece. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know. Like again, I don't know much about him. I know there were some Spanish ones in there, and there might be American too. I did see. And yeah, some like of these I think Japanese. are Japanese. 
So the, the bulk of these are Japanese or oh, Korean yeah. or whatever. Wild. So, but I don't know enough about them, so that's why I usually and I've sold like three or four lots of either Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. And every time I sell a lot, they never bat an eye. They're like, "Yeah, I'll take them." No kidding. Yeah, they say, I give you what you want right here. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. But I do have the blue eye white dragon. Okay. That goes with that. Okay. All right. And uh, and oh wait, I think I have some more that goes with that too. Oh, I do. I have another uh, maybe four hundred. Man, no kidding. Yeah. That's but they're crazy. all in packages, and I don't know what's in the packages. So they're in packages of ten. They were packaged oh, okay. up in packages of ten by my dad to sell for like a dollar each or something. So I have no idea what's inside. Okay, right, right. Yeah. So I don't know if there's hollow foils or what. Okay. How much are the comics? I haven't priced any of that yet. I have oh. to look all that. That's what I'm saying. I'm still kind of going through that pile over on the right there. You uh, I I just saw this. He you getting rid of the VHS? What's that? You getting rid of the the VHS? Ah, uh, again, I'm still kind of looking through this stuff because I live right by where this happened, and I saw this movie when I was a kid. My mom took me back in the '70s to go see that. Me and my little brother. That's cool. So that one, and I've loved horror movies my whole life. Yeah, yeah. So and the, this is this is what people seem to look for on VHS. A lot of a lot of people are horror. into the horror movies. That's you know? the more popular. I, I at least from what I've seen, or you know, uh, anime. Like I've, I've. Uh, are people buying VHS again? I think so. Yeah. I oh, mean, okay. I know, I know, I am. I've got, I've got some boxes. I know they're buying there. records again. Yeah, yeah, they absolutely are. My son does it. My son's always talking about his records. <laughs> It's funny how that stuff comes back around like that, but you know I've I've also heard about how the you know these things they don't last forever. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll eventually degrade and. But oh, that's a bummer. For now, it makes for, sense though. Mm-hmm. Yep. Exactly. Well, I'm sure I bought that new. <laughs> it's probably been so long ago I don't remember when or where. Probably that's maybe at a uh, what do you call it blockbuster or something. Ah, right, Hollywood Video or something. Yep, one of those. That's funny. I remember my aunt, she was the one who got me into, uh, what is it, like Interview with a Vampire and Texas Chainsaw and Freddy and yeah, Jason my and all them. Yeah, took me and my little brother back in the 70s to drive-ins. We went and saw Rabbit, we saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we saw uh, The Hills Have Eyes, the original. Oh, geez. When it came out, we saw that at the drive-in. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's crazy. All right, cool. Yeah, maybe I'll... Uh, and that Need for Speed, that's the first one I bought that brand new. I still that's, have the receipt in there. No kidding, it's really? It's almost in mid condition. I was going to say, this thing... I'm... The only thing wrong is the the, sp the thing came loose from the spine. Oh, right there. Yeah. See, that's funny because I was going to say, I've, n I've honestly never even seen a box like this. I mean, I grew that's up on... That's the very first, first one. That's, that's why I bought a PlayStation 1. My brother-in-law worked for PlayStation 1 and 2. Oh, really? Yeah. My, my son works for Infinity Ward. Oh, no kidding. You know what that is? That's, uh, yeah, I know that they've, like, uh, helped on, like, Call of Duty. Call of Duty, and... for sure, but as far as whatever else, I couldn't tell you for sure offhand. That's cool. <coughs> wow, yeah, it even says purchase hey. 1996 original with receipt. There's the foam, too. That's Game wild. Image. Yeah, even the back of the disc is nice. That's oh, wild. Yeah. I think there was about Let's, 20 games that came out in the big box like that before they just went to the jewel case. Oh, really? Yeah. Man. See, you know what's funny is I remember being a kid. I was probably seven years old. I was born in 91. My mom told me, do you want a PlayStation? And I was like, yeah. She's like, do you even know what one is? And I was like, no, but I know I want it. <laughs> you know? When I, was, I saw, when I saw Need for Speed, I was like, that's it. I was still playing on the <laughs> Super Nintendo, you know? And, and then they came out with Tomb Raider, and I was like, okay. Man, My that's awesome. Complete. Crash Bandicoot, Tomb Raider. Nice, that's awesome. Days ago. Right, right. Um, you know, I've got some cards. Are you getting rid of just the empty cases? You want those? You can have those. Yeah, Cause, really. Yeah, yeah. Because I was gonna, I have to clean those up because they have sticker residue on them. Oh, okay. Yep, I can see a little bit there. But you're welcome to have that stack. No kidding. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you can have all those if you want. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, I've got, I've been getting more into you know i do a lot of video games but i've been getting more into sports cards and and pokemon cards and stuff like that well i got some good stuff i'm gonna hit a few sales and then uh you're you're gonna set up today though too 
Yeah, you... we're gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna set up. Yeah, like I said. Okay. Nothing heavy duty. All right. Yeah, I'll let I'll, I'll give you some time and let you do that, and I'll swing yeah, just back come around. Come back by and see if we're out here still. Right on. Yeah. If All it's right. It's going real slow. Then we'll probably just go in because he said he's tired too. Okay. So, <laughs> okay I get now. it. Hey, thank you. All I appreciate right, nice it. You know, sometimes they got the cool stuff, the stuff you're looking for, but the price isn't right. You, you got to know when to fold them, when to fold them. The boss, or you can have friends. You can't have both. Yeah, of course. I mean, if you want to be the boss, you totally can. What did you just get? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, a tire plug kit? 50 cents. 50 cents, dollar, dollar, yeah, five dollars right. for the big one. Craftsman? Stupid. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You said three, it's not, yeah, it's not like there? my family. <laughs> Thank you. I can't imagine. We, so we were in Massachusetts. Huh. That's a disc golf thing. When the, That's funny. Uh, when the election That's was cool. How much do you have on the pin? The uh, stupid tree. Probably do a dollar. Okay, uh, like, <laughs> so I thought about putting like some of my old disc golf discs out. I have like a hundred of them. Like, but no one ever gives say, me say shit say about them. Gas you know? and bathroom only. You know what's funny is I, I've been getting into golf. And me and my buddy, we, we went to the driving range. We're going to go golfing on Thursday. But he told me he's been getting into disc golf. Yeah, and I, I told him like, yeah, I played when I was in college, and I don't have any, and uh, so I don't know if you have some cheap ones you get rid of. Uh, Dude, I have so many. If you want to hang out, I'll go grab them. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. I don't know how many I need. But like, I know, I know that there's drivers and putters and stuff, but yeah, I can I'm, help you out with this. Yeah. I even have a couple bags. Too. Okay. Just want to make sure everyone's all taken care of. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Take your time. See, I want that pin just because it says stupid tree. I think it's funny. He says he's got a bunch of disc golf. See, those discs can go for a lot, too. This is the change he gave me. It's killing me, Holmes. They're all brand new. They're crisp. 57, 56, 55. And so now you feel like you can't spend them. That's, yeah. Yeah, that I wouldn't feel like I could do that. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, jeez. What do you do? Yeah. Just compare them to other crispies you got. Yeah. Uh, I think so. Exactly. Stupid. <laughs> Look at this. This is the one you have to throw oh, it get in the cage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they gather it has to be pretty heavy to get to that. That's what's on that pin is uh there's there's the little they net. Just, they go into the chains. Yeah, the chains. And if you find it, they'll call Steve. Call Steve and say, come get your disc. Yep. So, <laughs> Seriously. It comes back to him. Uh, <laughs> okay, so like like this one, it's a little sharper right here. This is gonna be the driver, right? Yeah, I'll walk you through it in a second. It's Drivers, mids, and putters. Everything has a speed rating on it. The lower the speed, the more like putter to a mid range. The higher the speed, it's like a driver. And so they also each have different characteristics in their flight. And that's indicated in the numbers on the front. So, like, take off. So, like, this is a driver. It's 11 speed, six turn. Oh, sorry, six glide minus five turn and a one fade and that is like learning a whole new language huh no kidding yeah but this means it's understable so that's like like this one you know five speed four glide zero right. turn so anything under a six is is a putt and a pro some of these i can do for cheap some of them you know these things cost anywhere between 18 and 30 bucks a piece Right. Some of them cost me over a hundred. No kidding. But those are very specific. Like this, this is a very specific disc that you can't get, period. And this one cost me a hundred bucks. No kidding. Yeah. I mean, I like and it. Throw a lot. It just means it's expensive. Ah, right, right. Okay. This is the first one I ever got ever. So it's got multiple numbers on it. <laughs> 
Uh, see, see this, Boggs? Yes, I do, but my hip will not allow that. Yeah, she's a hard time moving around. Old girl. Yeah, this one came to us. So, and then obviously, I'm like just starting out. Yep. I mean, I'm I'm gonna lose some. And I don't know what what you could do, like uh, you know, maybe like a couple of each, like. Yeah. So, just steal them. You know what I mean, like. Feeling like this one is a really fast disc. You got to throw it hard oh, no. to make mm -hmm. it do what it does. It's slightly, <laughs> well, it out. slightly yeah, unstable. Has a good glide. Shrike is one of the best discs in my opinion. But I mean, if you were to buy this one new, it's like, I think this one's twenty-one dollars at like Dick Sporting Goods. Oh, okay, okay. But it's a hard one to learn on. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. See, because I remember when I started out, I had a buddy. He, you know, just just like a regular like frisbee. But and I, feet. and I, yeah, and I couldn't do it. And I was starting yeah. to get decent, you know, throwing it sidearm, throwing it, you know, that's, the opposite that's how way. A lot of people start because if you don't know what you're doing, it feels normal. But if you let a disc go like this, mm -hmm. it's gonna go like a mile to the left. <laughs> right. Okay. You gotta release it level. I gotta take a break. Just feel them, man. If you feel one you like, just ask me. These are good ones to lose. These DX ones, the DX plastic. You can just tell they're cheaper when you hold them. You know what I mean? These ones cheaper, cheaper. Ah, right, right. Okay. This one's not cheaper, but feels like it. It's a weird one. It's like a Norwegian or a Scandinavian uh, disc golf company. Caribou. No kidding. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. I didn't think I'd be putting my discs out today. I didn't think you would be either. Should I, I mean, update the list? Whatever. Yeah, if you want them. Are you just going to buy the lot? <laughs> huh? That would be a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> He's got it. See, look at that one's cool. Are you Steve? <laughs> Steve Beam Handyman. Steve Beam Disc Golf Dork. They call me Mike Giver. Did you? Yeah. Mike Giver. Mike Giver? <laughs> <laughs> Steve is somewhat of a MacGyver himself. Yeah, everybody brings me their stuff. Can you fix this? Can you break, can you? The coldest day right before Christmas, him and I went to an estate sale. We get to the estate sale on Slick Roads. There's a lady sitting in the truck in front of it. We go up to the door. She goes, I'm locked out of the house. I can't have this as hell. I was like, okay, can I even get in? Well, I don't know how you're going to do it. I took a credit card. Yeah. Got into the place. I would have been like, get out of here. We had to break into the estate sale to <laughs> yep. get goodies. Let's well, see, what do we say? A bad day of uh, garage selling is better than a good day of work? Yeah. That's, this one's funny. Yeah, that's a really good day, too. Yeah? Yeah. It's, uh, it flies really. Huh. Flies really straight. No kidding. Did you throw that in Vivian's yard? No. Oh. No, I have to yard. Oh, well, he doesn't care. Exactly what I'm looking at, yeah, I but I mean, I was, uh, you know, I mean, like I saw this one's mid-range. This thing is a piece of crap. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to you with whatever you buy. Okay. Okay. All right. This is a and special edition disc. This one I'd have to do ten on. This is a special edition disc. Ten. Uh, ten on five. I don't like them, so five. 
five, five, two. Okay, and see, like, I'm pretty sure this one's a putter. Yep. And yeah. then most these. of them say on it, put an approach. Some of them don't. These are kind of a weird one. A lot of people don't like these, but I do. The ones that look more like a regular frisbee are more natural for you to throw. Mm -hmm. You're used to throwing these. So that's why a lot of people putt with these, because you can you can throw it like a regular frisbee. Ah, right, right, okay. You don't have to get fancy with it, is what I'm saying. Okay, so then like I've got a couple uh you know, this so fair this, fairway disc. Yeah, so this is just this is just a slower driver basically. Okay. It doesn't have the numbers on it because it's a special print. But this is basically a seven speed. There's a garage sale yesterday and this guy I'm looking around. Seven speed it, driver. Okay. So like uh I, I'm gonna want like a like a long range driver, like a yeah, this well, one I know. If only he were here today. This is a longer areas. one. This is probably a nine speed. You gotta be honest, I picked it up because you know the graphics yeah. kind of cool on it. Picture, man. That's the reason I bought it, but I threw it twice and I was like, uh, not my not my thing. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I'm not selling this one, that's for sure. This is a really good starter midway disc, honestly. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, let's find you a driver. This is a pretty good driver. This is a special one too. I got when I was in Huntington. It's okay. under stable, so if you accidentally let it go a little bit, it'll stay straight up before it finally fades off. Ah, all right, all right. That's I'm probably gonna need something like that, you know? Yeah. Huh. And you know, this is my buddy was telling me he's like, yeah, they they're expensive, so they are, dude. if I if I show up with a stack of them like this, he'll like, what the hell? Yeah, and I'll, damn, you dropped some coin. Uh, well, and I'll tell him like, man, you gotta come to garage sales with me. And you know, you like you don't even have this stuff out. Sometimes you gotta ask. Like I wouldn't have known if I didn't ask about that pin. Yeah, I was wondering whether to do it or not because sometimes people are like, I'll give you a dollar. I'm like, fuck out of here. <laughs> well, you can always say that too. I've got like thousands of dollars on this table. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Right. Huh. Okay. So yeah, you know, I'm. I feel like this strike would be a good one for you too, actually. It's a fast disc. It's got a speed of a 13, so y'all really gotta like piss on it. But it'll it'll go. I've thrown this thing 400, 450 feet. No kidding. Yeah. This is one. The data was 13.6, so that's a 13.6 minus 2.2, 13.6 two, minus 3.2. It's like the same disc, except this one's just a little less stable, which probably doesn't mean squat to you, but a stable disc. I could let. Where'd it go? My beaver ranch. So this, I could let this thing go like this, and it'll flatten out really fast and fade really fast. So if I wanted to curve it around a tree, I could just. Ah, <laughs> and it does. Yep. Yeah. Kirk's probably sick of me throwing shit in his yard. But, <laughs> so stable disc do that, but uh, understable disc will hold that first turn a lot longer before flattening out and fading. Ah, then you can go around the tree. Exactly. Or and... if you let it go perfectly level, it holds that level for a longer time before then fading. Huh. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. All right. So that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, this one is not a good one. It's a good disc, but it's not good for beginners. Okay. This one I can't sell. It's like my first disc ever. <coughs> Okay. And, like, you don't need all those, but, you know. I mean, like I said, I'll probably lose some. I'll probably, probably I might even, will. I might even give some to a friend or something, you know. And, uh, yeah. so, I don't know. What did, what did you have on, because we were see. saying. So, this one is for you. You are saying, what, two, two five. Four, five, ten, twenty, thirty, maybe thirty-five. 45, 55, 65, uh, 67. Okay, 67. And then... If you like X-Men and you want this one. I was I was kind of looking at that one just because my, my buddy, he's a big Iron Man. He loves Iron Man. So this is a Defender. It's pretty stable disc. It's a cool print. I'll give it to you for three bucks to make it an even 70 if you want. Okay. I traded for that at a disc golf swap meet, which is a thing that happens. Then of course I was asking my wife about some of those clothes. Um, you should just go get her and bring her over here. <laughs> yeah, right. Try to pick clothes for your wife. 
That's keep saying he has a wife. He's just he's a drag queen. Hey, yeah, you not, whatever. You not judge. Hey, I support, let me know when you're playing. I Babe, how much? I dropped hundred dollars there. I guess I got your number on these discs. Uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Hey, um, Mike. I was looking at this Yoda. I was also looking at the Kirby, just because I like him. People love this stuff. You getting him and him? I was looking at him. Yeah. Just because I like him. I don't know if he's worth anything, but Your snuggle buddy. <laughs> exactly. Wife's mad, Mary. Mary, buddy. So I might just pay his price. He seems like he knows he's talking about. It seems like it's a decent deal. What's he got to tell you? Dad, just do it. Tells me to do it, and right. even, if, even if it's not great, it's a learning experience, you know. Well, it's like golfing. You got it's like buying a boat, buy a little boat. This guy's putting you right in the middle. So, and then I'll just I'll just see if we can throw this in. I thought that was a bug. It is. It's scary. <laughs> I am bugged. I said that earlier. <sighs> All right, I think I might grab one of these. Um, there was another jacket, not the North Face one, but there was uh, I think it's a Torrid one. It looks like a leather jacket. That one. Yeah. Um, be seven on that one. Seven bucks. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm not sure if it's her style. I sent her a picture, and now she's not responding. But I think I'll just. Take a chance. Yeah, and I'll, I'll get it for her. And <laughs> okay. So, I think he said we were at 70. So, 77. Oh, uh, do you want your, your hanger? Yeah, please. Those are a hot commodity around here. <laughs> Big one? Oh my god, my thing died. Well, I was at that sale for a while and my camera ended up dying, but I did get all those those discs. Um, ended up paying his $70. I got the jacket and they threw in one of the stuffed animals, the, the Squishmallows for free. They took out the Kirby and the Big Yoda. Um, they said they didn't want to sell them, which is fine, but I wasn't too sure about that one. At the very least, I thought that this would be a good learning experience for me. I mean, when you pay for an education, you know, that's that's kind of what I think about this as listing and selling these discs. It'll be kind of a learning experience and whatever I paid for them, if I make money, great. If I don't, then I paid for the, the learning experience. And I, like I said, I already lost the, the Iron Man one. I went out with some friends and we went disc golfing and I tried them out. You know, you got to test out some of the stuff that you get. And they're, they're pretty fun, but you know, I thought this was an interesting one. Sometimes uh, you gotta ask about stuff because um, I never would have known about this if I didn't ask about the pin. He ended up bringing everything out. So I, in the end, I think that I should make a pretty good profit on that. But, you know, it's, it's kind of hard when you don't know the ins and outs of the stuff that you're buying. This was kind of a gamble on my part. But I just wanted to say thanks for, for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.